the yellow-footed rock wallaby. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Come and skip, Hero. I'm ready for you. One, two, three. Oh, is that a kangaroo? Look how well it's skipping, Hero. And what is this? It looks like the baby of the kangaroo. They look smaller than a kangaroo. I wonder what they are. I know. Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Say cheese. Hi, Katie. We have two visitors today, a mother and her baby. They look like kangaroos, but they're smaller. Hi, Leo. It's got the baby in its pouch. So cute. Can you find out what they are? Of course I can, Leo. That's great. Hero, you stay here with our new friends. I'll be right back. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. Hi, Katie. Have you found out what our visitors are? Hi, Leo. Guess what? They are not kangaroos. They are wallabies. Wallabies? Wallabies and kangaroos are from the same family. But, as you have noticed, wallabies are smaller. The wallabies you found are yellow-footed rock wallabies. They are called rock wallabies because they live in rocky areas, on cliffs, and sometimes in caves. And they are mar... marsup... I think you were trying to say marsupial, Leo. And yes, they are marsupials, so they carry their babies in a pouch. Their babies are called joeys. Unfortunately, there aren't many yellow-footed rock wallabies left where they come from, which is in only a few parts in Australia. That means it's very important that we take them home. Come and join us. Yes, Leo. Let's do that. See you downstairs. Ranger Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. I see you have a new friend today. Actually, Ranger Rocky, we've got two new friends. It's a yellow-footed rock wallaby and her joey. Wonderful! Rock wallabies are very agile animals. They jump up and down rocks and cliffs all the time. They have rough padded feet so they don't slip on the rocks. And their tails are long, which help them balance while moving around. That's amazing! But we noticed the joey isn't moving much. The joeys of yellow-footed rock wallabies stay in the pouch for about six months. Right after they leave the pouch, they still stay close to their mother, so they can hop back into the pouch whenever there is danger. After that, the mothers leave the joeys in safe areas in the rocks, while the mothers look for food. Yellow-footed rock wallabies eat things like grass, leaves, and bark. There used to be a lot of food for them, but these days they have to share their food with wild goats and wild rabbits. Oh no, so that's why they're endangered. Correct. The wallaby also has predators, animals that hunt and eat them, like foxes and dingoes. Dingoes are the wild dogs in this country. So you might want to look for a place where there are no foxes and dingoes. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Let's see what we can find. Here is a rocky area with some grass. I see some dingoes. And on this side is a rocky area with a small river and with some grass and bushes. I don't see any wild animals. Do you know where we should go? 
Over there is a rocky area with some dingoes, and over there is a rocky area with bushes and no wild animals. So where should we go? There, that's right. We need to go to the rocky area with bushes and grass and no wild animals because there the wallabies are more safe and they can find food. Let's go. With the jeep, we'll be there in no time. Whoa! Whoa! Oh dear, I think we hit something. Oh no, it's a flat tire, Leo. Don't worry, Katie. We have a spare tire, remember? What is it, Hero? Leo, this tire is also flat. Oh no, but we only have one spare tire. It must have happened because of all the rocks on the ground. Now we're stuck here. Hmm, there sure is a lot of grass here. Leo, we can fill one of the flat tires with grass. So even without air in it, the tire might stay firm. We just have to drive very careful. That's a great idea, Katie. But first, let me change the other tire. Done. Now let's pick some grass and fill this tire. <laughs> That's great! Now it won't take too long. Great job, everyone! Now we can drive again. Just don't drive too fast, Leo. The tire isn't strong enough for that. Got it, Katie. So very slowly. We made it! But what should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers! Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! To make sure the wallabies have enough food, just look for a place with no rabbits or goats. Not for blue raincoats or big red boats, but look for a place with no rabbits or goats. I see. So not for blue raincoats or big red boats, but, but look, look for, for a place, place with, with no, no rabbits, rabbits or, or goats. goats. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to make sure the wallabies get enough food, you have to look for a place with no rabbits or goats. Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be a place with no rabbits or goats. Look, there's a grassy area. Should we go there? No, because there are rabbits. Let's continue. Here's a rocky area with grass. Should we go there? No, because there are goats. So let's move on. How about this place? It looks like a nice rocky area with grass. Are there any rabbits or goats? No, but there are other wallabies. Great work, Hero. We're coming over. We did it! We found a home for the yellow-footed rock wallaby and her joey! Yay! We found a yellow-footed rock wallaby and her joey in our garden. We learned that yellow-footed rock wallabies are endangered because there are other animals that eat the same food. So we took the wallaby and her joey to a place without rabbits or goats. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished. <laughs>